And there's a lot of Grateful Dead fans, especially of Jerry Garcia, because he was a he was really a great guitarist. He doesn't get a lot of credit because they were kind of a jam band. And unless you're doing heavy drugs, you couldn't sit there and listen to a solo for 30 minutes like they did. But Hey, Bluegrass, can we go thrift shopping? Hello, YouTube world. My name is Anthony Long. Welcome back to the Bluegrass Picker Channel. You came back. <laughs> Why would you? Sure glad you did. What's sold on eBay this weekend? I have uh, five sales, and I had three that haven't paid yet, so I'm just kind of waiting on them, which kind of helps sometimes and spread it out. Um, but I'll show you what sold. This one is a Yadier Molina. It's a, an insert. It's a hologram. It's a really cheap card, actually. It's Don Russ. It's 2019. Yeah, I got it real cheap back in the day. It's numbered to 406 because his slugging percentage for his career is 406. It's 153, so it's not even really that low numbered. But it's cool if you like a Yadier Molina. And it only went for 695, but I bought the brakes for like 10, so. Uh, it just kind of pays for the breaks, and then I've got some really good cards out of that too that I've already paid that I've already sold. Another one is this Creed Humphrey. He is a um, I forget what round. I think it's second or third third round. I think second round. He uh, is uh, one of the best linemen out of the Big Twelve. He played for Oklahoma Sooners, and uh, he got drafted by the Chiefs. Got him in a Chiefs break. And I had it for nineteen ninety five. I had people sending me offers for ten, eleven, eleven fifty, quite a few offers. So I just left it. When you start getting a lot of offers, you know it's wanted. And so you just kinda of let it sit there and you know someone will come by and see it for and pay pay full price and it happened. And uh, I actually have another one just like this and which is kinda of nice because I can just put up the same um listing and then um, just put in the new pictures, which the pictures are about the same, but just just to protect myself. And um, it sold for nineteen ninety five, paid for half of the break, and I got a bunch of other cards with it still. This is a a good example of um, selling when it's hot, having a card up so it sells when it does get they do get hot because other people don't have them. I have a bunch of listings of them up. So there's not as many cards out there on eBay for them. And this is one of those guys. This is a guy named Nolan Gorman. He's a young prospect that people, have, other teams have wanted to trade for him for a long time. The Cardinals have just kind of let him sit in the minors and let him just keep playing and get better and better. He's a lefty with a lot of power. Doesn't have a real good position. I think they have him at third base, but he's lost a little weight and he's gotten... Um, so he can play second base and first, and he's trying to transition to other other positions. And um, this one is only numbered 75 to 150, but it's not his rookie. And I had it for I, I forget now between 17 and 20 bucks. I'll put the comp up. And um, Bowman Chrome is a great card to have, but usually it's only the rookies that sell. And um, I have another card that no one, they haven't paid for it yet, and it was an autograph of um, Nolan Gorman. And I took an offer because usually it doesn't sell. And um, now I kind of wish I wouldn't have sold it because I didn't realize. Because I looked it up. Whenever it's two cards that someone sells real quick on the same day, I looked it up. He had seven home runs in the last five games and he had a three home run game the day after a two home run game so five five home runs in two games in the minors and it's here in trip trip uh, double a in springfield missouri and so he's hot and um so i'm not surprised and it just kind of shows you that you know you kind of want some of those cards up just in case because then you're on the cutting edge when everybody and then before everybody starts putting up their nolan gormans because because that's kind of what happens and let's see, the next thing it sold was kind of a funny one. This is a two stickers, Jerry Garcia. I've already got them wrapped. And because uh, it sold before and the guy didn't pay. And I think I, I think I sold it for 15 bucks for both stickers. And it's a Air Jedi or Air, Air Garcia. And it has him 
with the guitar and he's spread eagle like Michael Jordan. And then there's it says Jerry is a Jedi on the other one. And there's a lot of Grateful Dead fans, especially of Jerry Garcia, because he was a he was really a great guitarist. He doesn't get a lot of credit because they were kind of a jam band. And unless you're doing heavy drugs, you couldn't sit there and listen to a solo for 30 minutes like they did. But uh, the people that did really like him. <laughs> anyway, this is one of those perfect examples of when it doesn't sell and I relist it, I usually price it up. And I priced it for 17 bucks and it sold for 17 something. And so, good sale. Um, I, I've got almost next to nothing in these stickers. I bet I've got 50 cents. So, 17 bucks, 50 cents into 17 bucks is great. Next thing is sold. I'll just put the picture up, but it's a their foot joys. Um, I got them in a garage sale. It was one of those days where it was a community sale where I went to like ten or twelve garage sales, and they were all terrible. Just they were either just trying to get rid of the junk, or the stuff they had out was so overpriced. I'm like, there's no way to make any money, and even if you were just buying it for yourself, you wouldn't buy it. I don't even know what they were doing. Um, and then I stopped at one last one. I'm like, ah, I'll stop one more. And she had good prices on everything. And these were three bucks. And when I looked at them, well, I might as well show them. One of them had tried, one of them, this one hasn't even been tried on. So she, she must have just tried them on, or he tried them on, didn't really like them, put them back in a box. Because this one still has all the stuff, stuffing in it. And you could tell they haven't been worn. And they're spikeless cleats for the golf course and if you know foot joys are one of the best to get that's reasonably priced you know there's of course some better ones but for good price and how good they are and they do spikeless um, shoes now which is smart i worked on a golf course and spikes especially in the middle of july after a tournament or something everybody always walks around the hole and so you get these spike marks and big chunks come up and then so when you're putting right before it hits the hole it'll bounce off to the side and now they've protected them, the greens a lot better and it really doesn't make sense you don't need a lot of traction to to keep your footing when you're golfing if you're moving your feet that much you're probably not a very good golfer um, but three dollars into 39.95 all day long you know and they played shipping on top so um, five good sales um, um, seems like I'm getting about five per every two days, um, averaging about two and a half a day, which is pretty good. And, and it just continues sm snowballs and, and I haven't been listing. If I was listing, I better be five a day, six a day. Um, I'm going to try to get up more listings, try to do two or three, at least in the morning just to get some going. And I need to, uh, cause my problem is I'll put, I'll do 20 listings in one day. I need to do 20 listings, save the drafts, do five, five, five. It's better to do that. I mean, I, I know that from Shed Flips. Lonnie's talked about that forever, and it's better to do that. But I just want to get it out there because, you you know, you don't want to miss someone that might get it. But anyway, these are some of the things I like to sell on eBay. And uh, grind on, friends. So, what I got at garage sales yesterday. Pokemon plush. This one I'll just sell in my booth. It's lost a little bit of a its neck here. Um, Dragon, Pokemon. I think it's Charmand or uh, Charizard. I might look this one up on eBay. I forgot to look this one up because of the neck, but uh, this will sell in my booth for sure. One dollar. This is another one. I got a Charlem. Char Charmander. Um, I got this for a dollar, and surprisingly, this sells for 15 to 20 bucks on eBay. Uh, one dollar. The Office Season 3. All of them are in here. Um, she wanted a dollar. So I can sell this for five to ten bucks in my booth. If I remember right, I've sold this one um, for, pretty, for ten bucks. It was sealed on eBay. So I might check it and comp it to see if it's. Because some seasons go better than others. This is a Dwayne Wade jersey. It's a kid's jersey, I believe. Well, no, it's just a small um, Reebok. I think it's 
It might be a, an official one. She wanted two bucks. Dwayne Wade. It's clean. I'll probably put that up on eBay. I'll take it. Bucks and um, at a garage sale, which is nice. And uh, I was look. I was walking away, and there she had a bunch of uh, Pokemon cards on her um, table. I'm like, "Are you selling the Pokemon cards?" She goes, "You can just have them." I'm like, "Have them?" I'm like, "Okay." So she gave me a stack of Pokemon, and I was happening to be mowing, and they just happened to be the neighbor. And so I was putting all that stuff away. And uh, when I came back over, she walked back over, and she gave me more, and she gave me a stack of Pokemon, and. There was even some rare ones, GX, another rare, the one I just had, I think. No, that's a different one. But there was some, you know, some reverse hollows and some regular holograms, quite a few of them. So, I mean, for free, <laughs> it's pretty nice. All this was five bucks and, uh, you know, can't beat it. I'll probably give some of these to my nephew if he wants them and then put the rest in my booths and make pretty good money on it. But uh, grind on, friends. Pickers. <laughs> Stay tuned.